So last time we set up John Doe as a contact. We got him in the system as a lead. And now, now it's time to actually start selling to John Doe. And the first thing we have to do when we're selling to somebody is we have to meet with them. So we're gonna go over creating a task in Job Nimbus and finding it on our calendar. So here John Doe is as a lead. And we're gonna take a look at the board. There he is. Let's move him to appointment scheduled. If we're gonna do that, we better schedule that appointment. So in John Doe, we're going to navigate to the tasks tab by clicking on tasks, and we're going to add a task. Now we could also do this by clicking on the plus button at the top of the screen and clicking add task here. But if we do that, we have to add John Doe manually in this related contacts field. So I recommend that when you're creating tasks, you choose to do it from the contact or job if you're working on jobs that you actually want the task associated with just to save a little bit of extra entry. So we're gonna click add tasks. You'll see John Doe populated here. We're gonna choose the task type appointment and the task name appointment automatically populates. We're gonna call this a first appointment. And then we need to set our start and end dates. So we're gonna say that this is happening on Monday the 5th at 10.30. And we hope this will only be a half hour appointment because we've got a lot of other things to do. We can set priority here, but remember if everything's high priority, nothing's high priority. So be judicious about how you use the priority. The assigned to or who we want to complete the task automatically assigns to the user who's creating the task, in this case, new account. But we could delete this and then search for someone in our system that we'd like to associate this with. Finally, we're gonna save this. So now we have the basic information of the tasks here in the task tab, and we have a little button that we can click on to complete the task. Now we also might wanna see all of the appointments that we have at once, and we would do that on our calendar, which you can get to conveniently enough by clicking calendar here at the top. You'll see that this appointment shows up on Monday the 5th, and if we click on it, it gives us all the details, including recent notes, who's doing the job, who the user is, and if we click here, we can complete the task. When we complete the task, it will disappear from the calendar, unless we have over here, show completed tasks clicked. This helps us keep track of what has been done and what still needs to be done, which is very useful, not just for appointments, but for a lot of the general office work and other production work that comes along with running a business like yours. In our next video, we're going to go into the next part of the sales process. Once you've had your initial meeting, it's time to write your estimate. Now, if you'd like to use Job Nimbus estimates, there's a video that goes over Job Nimbus estimates and go ahead and choose that one. If you'd like to use your own estimates and upload them to Job Nimbus, I'll go over what I consider best practices if you're working that way.